Hey guys, so today we are finally back in the normal background which is my bedroom. Today, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the caption, I will be doing a bookshelf tour. As I said in my first video, I love reading books. So I thought, why not? It's the best opportunity to show you what I've got on my bookshelf. Now, as I said, I love watching booktubes and they have so many books and uh, so many shelves but this is only my mini shelf i've been begging my dad to get me more but it's not working out so i've got some more upstairs so far this is my collection and it's in my coordinated in rainbow and i'm really proud of it so without further ado let's get cracking with this bookshelf tour <laughs> First on my shelf is a Stonehenge souvenir which I bought obviously from Stonehenge uh, when I went out with my family and this piece over here is a mosaic type of owl which I bought from Barcelona um, to put on my bookshelf when I went with my family. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry Potter and the Table of Secrets both by JK Rowling um, this is a little Funko Pop figure which I received from the Owl Crate um, royalty box and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. It's uh, Jasmine's um, tiger. Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. Scarlet by Marissa Mayer. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. The Elite by Kira Cass. Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book to the Six of Crows duology by Leigh Bardugo called Crooked Kingdom. This is the Every Flavour Beans which Harry Potter, Hermione and Ron have during the Harry Potter films and I really love it. And I have tried these and some of them are disgusting indeed. This is a montage of pictures which I have collected from my Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 camera of my trip to Pakistan. Um, so yeah... I have this on bookshelf with a cute little pink bookmark popping out. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Fan Girl by Rainbow Rowell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Eleanor Park by Rainbow Rowell. These are just a collection of some pins which I've got. Um, I got this one for when I went to see Wicked in theatre for my birthday last um, year. These are, this is my sister's pin, Ravenclaw. Boo! I'm a Hufflepuff. We bought both bodies when we went to the Warner Brothers Studios. This is a little pin which I've got from Waterstones, which says Book Form. And this is a Worlds Collide book tour pin, which I got from the book signing from Leigh Bardugo and Rainbow Rowell's book signing. This is my vector journal. He's a little sneak peek. I shall not be showing you too much, but I shall be doing a video on this later on. Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Ignite Me by Tahera Mafi, the second book to the Shatter Me series. Brooke by Sharon Cameron. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Hotel K by Catherine Bonella. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. At the end of my bookshelf, I've got my Instax Mini 8 camera and I've also got this little dove which my cousin has made and she's written, done her signature here which says Love Zara and I've kept it since she gave it me and I've always put it on my bookshelf and I love it. <laughs> a nice desk light which I bought from Ikea in rose gold to go onto my bookshelf. Um, this over here is fairy lights which my university friends have bought for my birthday and I have placed it on my bookshelf. Furthermore by Tahera Mafi. And then the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. They went to the Warner Brothers Studios in London uh, for Harry Potter. I bought this chocolate frog remake. It had the chocolate frog inside but obviously it's finished. At the moment, I keep my Harry Potter charms inside, but I've kept the packaging because, come on, it's beautiful and it reminds me of Harry Potter and how much I love it. 
and over here I have My Lady Dane. Currently it's just a jacket because my cousin is borrowing it and I got this book from the Owl Crate Royalty Box and can I say it's amazing. I recommend everybody to read this book. I started reading this late but I really regret it and it's hilarious. Happily Ever After by Kira Cass. Cress, the third book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer. Winter, the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles again by Marissa Mayer. The Heart of Betrayal, the second book in the Revenant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Unite Me, Destroy Me and Fracture Me, all by Tahiru Mafi. Over here we have a S light and my best friends have bought this, which is the best thing I've got for my birthday to put on my bookshelf. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cast. The One by Kira Cast. The Selection by Kira Cast. The Sage and Storm, the second book within the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. Here I've got a pot which I've bought from TK Maxx and I absolutely love it. Um, behind here I've got different books marks which mean a lot to me. Some I've made, some I've bought from Amazon or uh, online from eBay. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I've been collecting loads. Over here, I've got a bracelet which I've got from my I Will Create Royalty box. It's a bracelet which links to the Lunar Chronicles, which is one of my favourite series. And it says, even in the future, the story begins with Once Upon a Time. Over here, I've got a lovely elephant which my dad bought for me when he went to Singapore uh, or China, was it? And yeah, I'll put this on my bookshelf because it's very pretty and unique. Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi, the second book within the Shatter Me series. The Beauty of Darkness, the third book within the Revenant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. Fairies by Marissa Meyer, a companion novel within the Lunar Chronicles. Shadow and Born by Lee Bardugo. We've got a lovely peacock within this book because I think it matches. This is The Black Prism, a big chunky book which I still need to read yet by Brent Weeks. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Cinder by Marissa Meyer, the first book within the Lunar Chronicles. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Last but not least, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, the first book within the Six of Crows duology. So here is a box which I keep in the attic of the books which I have no room for downstairs on my bookshelves because there's no room and regretfully I have to keep them upstairs so I'm just going to quickly show you which books I've got Hush Hush Crescendo Silence and Finale all by Becca Fitzpatrick Life and Death by Stephanie Mayer Flawed by Cecilia Ahern I don't know how to pronounce her name just ignore the way I just said that Chelsea Kane, Evil at Heart, Dear Amy by Helen Callahan. Please tell me I said that right. The Last Letter from Your Lover by Jojo Moyce. Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. And finally, I See You by Claire McIntosh. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share some of in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. I've got an idea of the video which I would like to do next, which is a Arabic calligraphy since it's Ramadan. Oh yes, I forgot to say Ramadan Muharraq to everybody who's celebrating. And yes, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.